Hey guys, Stolt Jacob here, and welcome back to the Direwolf 20 1.10 mod pack. Today, I think we'll do something kind of unique and different. We're going to sort of generate resources that are kind of different and just sort of rare, I guess. So, yeah, let's try and do some of that type of stuff. So, one of the things I want to make is a slimy block of grass or whatever, so we can grow some of the slime trees. I know we have some purple saplings, but I think that's the only one we have. So maybe we can grow like purple slime trees, I, th I guess. So I don't know, it's just a sort of unique resource that we can generate then. It's not too difficult to make it. We need to get some slimy grass, which is a grass block and slime balls. And luckily we have some grass blocks right here. We have one so that we can just grow slime trees basically so let's make this and before we start growing a bunch of this stuff let's grab a bit of bone meal and I think just for now I think we'll put it like on top of our little hut here that doesn't sound bad um, okay, how do we get up can we get up here we used to be able to Let's just put it on top of here, just so it's a bit out of the way. It's kind of weird, but whatever. So now what we can do is just grow a, a bunch of these trees and get lots of slime. So, as you see, we got slime. Hopefully we get some saplings. We do. Cool. So basically this is our way of getting infinite slime, which it's not actually a bad thing. Slime is kind of hard to get. And I believe you can turn these into yep, slime, normal slime balls. So that's fantastic, actually. So this would be a cool thing to do. Just make a ton of slime one day. And yeah, we'll have infinite slime. So yeah, this has gone well already. We have a source of infinite slime. Which... I'm okay with that. Slime's pretty cool stuff. What are is there like a lot of recipes for slime balls? Let's just check. So slime ball. What are all the recipes? There's or uses I meant to hit. Okay. We got lassos, leads, controller stuff got stuff from a lot of different mods so that's really cool a generator for slime hmm what mod is that I don't know can make different foods we can make silk touch that could be useful on a book okay so there's a lot of pretty cool things that we can make with this so it's kinda cool that we made a little farm of it Another resource I'd like to get a lot more of is um, Certus Quartz. That's uh, from Applied Energistics. I think it'd be cool just to set up a little area that we could get more than one. Basically try and double it. It's very easy to do that. We need to make a few machines before we can do that though. We need a grindstone. Which we can make pretty easily. All right. I just kind of want to get more resources, you know. So this will be great for that stuff. So we need three of those. We need any of the unique rocks in mine of Minecraft, like diorite and stuff. And do we have? We should have some. We have some granite there, but not. In, all right. We have three of that. We also need two cobblestone. And we need to empty my inventory. Alright, we have everything except the wooden gear, which is four sticks. Okay. Um, do we have any planks? We do. We also have planks on us. Cool. But yeah, wooden gear is just like this, I think. Wooden gear, and then the quartz, the cobblestone the andersite 
gets a quartz grindstone and we need a crank as well a crank is just a bunch of sticks so that's easy to make yeah today is sort of just about getting a bunch of unique resources I think so okay we have that now what we want to do is make certus quartz seeds which are made with this we could use a machine but uh, hmm now nah, the grand will work okay so we need to find as much certus quartz as we want to so um there's some more I should have a lot of certus quartz I th assume um, not in here. any more slime saplings no all right there's some more we don't want the charged ones we just want the normal ones oh there's 30 that's a lot all right that will do for now so what we do is just stick it in here and we hold right click on the grindstone or on the crank sorry we hold just right click on that and it should be turning this stuff into dust which it is and then we can make them into seeds and then grow them and they will double the amount that we get so that's basically how you grow certus quartz in the mod pack you just sort of make them in the seeds and then grow them this might take a little bit of time but that's not really a problem there are a lot of Cirrus Quartz seeds though, so, you know. Are there any other ores that we can try and get more of? Are there any unique resources? Um, we're already getting vines, so we don't need that. Um, there's all the slimes. There's a red slime. What the heck? Not sure where that comes from. But, um. Yeah, I don't know if we really need. We'll find some more materials to make some stuff. But yeah, we made a slime farm. We're making a quartz. Surgeon's quartz farm. So far. It's going well. Alright. Um, we'll stick the rest of this in the crusher, I think. Just because. It actually produces the same thing, but we did make the quartz grindstone too, so that's fun. Um, all right, we got sand in here. Can't crush that. Can we macerate it? We can. The power's not gonna last long though. Um, all right, it's getting nighttime though, so we should take a quick sleep. Just so mobs can't attack. Alright. Um, something else that we can do is we can make more solar panels, I guess. I want to try and get a large energy, like a, a large amount of energy. And I'm not sure what we're going to do with this space, though. Maybe we could use this as, like, energy storage. We could make a ton of... Um, bank. What's it called? We can make a ton of the basic capacitor banks. Maybe. This one holds a million. This one holds five million. What's the difference? The only difference is it's double layered. Okay. But that could be something really interesting that we could try and do. Maybe make like a huge storage for that. That could be a possibility, but I'm not quite sure yet. So while we're waiting for those to work, let's try and make some more solar panels. We gotta make these ones. We need to make how many of those ingots? Like we're just gonna make one solar panel, I think that'll be enough for the day. So we need two of that stuff. So two redstone, two gold, two glowstone. 
So, two redstone, two gold, and two glowstone. Alright, so we can make those ingots that we want. Basically, we need to find a way to mass produce those ingots, I think. So we'll put these materials in here. And while that's going, well, it still has a lot left, so we'll keep it running. Let's make one of those. We need slabs, which we have. Three quarts and three glass. I think I have glass here. No, I did. Hmm. Any leftover glass? We have the fused glass that we need for it. Throw some of this away. Uh, okay, no glass in those. No glass. Okay, we can smelt some glass easily though. Um, do I have an electric furnace here? I do. Okay, let's smelt three glass. Cool, these are all working fine. And we also need these things, which need a lot of ingots actually. Okay. So we need two ingots. So we need four more of those ingots actually. So let's go grab those. Four more ingots. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. <clears throat> so that should be enough ingots, hopefully, to make that part of the machine. Hopefully we can make those double layer capacitor banks. And glowstone. We also needed, um, that ingot can come later. We need... A lot of redstone in the okay, this will work. So we need we need four of these things, so sixteen redstone. Um we need a lot of these. Redstone and copper, I think it was. So let's just go grab like a stack of each so we can make enough. I also need to find the coal dust. We could just make some, but I don't know. And we need like four copper. So we do this. So one, two, three, four. Oops, I'm doing too much. That's fine though. All right, cool. We have that done. So that's good. Now we need coal dust. We have some. I just gotta find it. Oh, found some. Now we need the ingots and we can craft it. Okay, cool. Um, so the ingots are nearly all done. There's one left, but we can use that in a minute. So let's craft two of these double layer capacitors. So we go like this, an ingot there and coal dust. So you have two of those. We need the this thing. Yeah, we're missing glass and quartz. Okay. The glass is here. There's no quartz. Okay. We'll go downstairs and grab a little bit of quartz. We need three of that. And we should be able to craft the solar or a daylight panel. Okay, we got that. Let's store some stuff. Uh, don't need those saplings or the wheat. So we're just missing the the all the ingots that we need. We need those ingots, and we need so we need two. 
So we're going to use four ender pearls. We need two iron. So iron. And the other one uses the ingots up top, which is easy enough. So what we do is we put the two ingots in here with the ender pearls, correct? And then we do it later with iron and ender pearls, and that should give us all the ingots we need. In the meantime, though, we'll make some of the seeds so we can double this. So you just do it with sand. You just put those with sand, and you get that. And do we have a bucket? We do. I'm just gonna make a hole in the ground like here, and we'll fill it up with water. What's cool about these seeds is that they won't despawn, which is pretty nice, so you can just leave them there. But it does take a while for the seeds to grow, but when they do grow, you know, you get twice as much as you had, so it's pretty neat. It does take a while, though. I believe you could build some sort of, um, you could build a block that you put next to it, and it'll speed it. Um, what block is that called? I just want to try and find it. Um, I think it's called like an energizer or something. Energizer. Um, let's. Is there an energizer? I don't know. There's some. Yeah, I don't. I can't find the block, but yeah, there's a block you can you guys can build to make that work. I just forgot what it was. We have the vibrant alloy. Now we just need to make the iron version, and then we can build the solar panel. That's pretty good, though. So we made a cool way to make slime. We have a small our method of making twice as much surges quartz, and we're making another solar panel for power, which. I mean, we don't need a lot of it right now, but when we in the future, we're going to want a lot more power. So, that's yeah, handy. And let's set all this up inside of the crafting grid. Uh, let's look up solar panel. Eventually, we're going to make these really good vibra vibrant ones, but they take a lot more stuff. And plus, there are three of these ones, so the more of these we build, the better. Okay, so yeah, we're missing that stuff. Enlightened quartz. How do you make that? Do we not have that? Fused quartz. Okay, so we need to make a new gla glass type, I guess. So we'll do that. But it was like this. Solar panel. The ingots. The glass. Okay. So how do you make enlightened fuse and light enlightened fused quartz? Okay, four quartz and four of that for one. Or you can do hmm. That's pretty expensive, but we need two of those. Okay. So we need eight of each of material. So we need eight. We need eight of that and eight of this. And what is that in? That's in the alloy smelter. Okay. Cool. It's pretty expensive, but it's pretty cool though. All right, this is done. So let's put those in. So we have everything except for the glass, and then we're good for this episode. Let's take a quick sleep, though, so we can work without fear of mobs. But yeah, I think we're going to move towards solar panels, though. That's going to be our energy source. We just have to make sure we get enough of the energy at night. That's the biggest thing that I'm worried about. Is can we use our machines and computer and stuff like that all at night while there's no energy being made? We'll find out. But we got everything, so let's craft. So the glass goes in the middle, and this goes right here.
Another solar panel completed. One more, we can make one super powered one. Cool. So we're generating. Is it just 54 for all three of them? Oh yeah, so out of 90 we make third we make 50 something right now of the time of day. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of the Dire Wolf 20 1.10 mod pack. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you all next time. See ya.